Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the oil contracts, WTI. And as you can see, nothing is happening in this market. Uh, we are still in the same area as we have been in for the last uh, three to four weeks. And, uh, well, yes, we are just trading sideways. Um, this is not uncommon for um, oil contracts. Um, they usually trade in... 10 to 15 dollar ranges uh, we go way back here uh, but prior to the coronavirus we can basically see that we were still in the range of uh, 50 to 60 dollars for a really long time um, so yes this is very common for um, for oil um, it's just a little bit strange when we uh, had this going on for a couple of months and also this that we now all of a sudden are back to uh, something that is resembles, resembles normality in this market. Um, so if we look at support and resistance level, of course, above we have the 200 moving average, which will be significant resistant, and below we have the 15 moving average. And if we look at the price level for for this is, is around uh, $44, and for a 50 moving average, this is around uh, 30, uh, $36. So if the price were to go down to the 50 moving average, I would be a buyer. If the price goes to the uh, 200 moving average, I will be a seller. It is as simple as that. I do not expect this market to break the 200 moving average. Uh, we also have the, let me get it up here, we have the, uh, 61.8 Fibonacci retracement just, uh, underneath the 200 moving average. So this will be really difficult for this market to get through. And probably the main reason is that there just isn't the demand out there. If we were to see a significant increase in demand for oil, then yeah, then we probably go higher. Also, if we see significant cuts in the production of oil, further cuts, then yes, we will probably go higher. However, both of those uh, both of both of those scenarios are quite unlikely. Uh, countries need to sell oil, they need to produce oil uh, for their economies to basically function. And uh, demand is just so low because we are still in the coronavirus crisis. So do not expect um, demand to increase significantly. So I do expect the price uh, to be in this area for uh, some time, uh, probably a few more weeks, we will uh, eventually see the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average cross each other, and then we'll have uh, movement in the market. However, uh, there is another scenario, and that is that usually when we have this enormous breakdown, so we can go look back into the past, what happens is that prices rise around half of of the of the of the decline in price so uh, from this point to this point usually prices increase into midpoint which is around here and then they start decreasing again and the same goes when we have uh, from this point to the top here we usually see that prices decline to around half point which is which is namely the Fibonacci retracement level, the 50 Fibonacci retracement. If I take my tool here and look at this, we can see that the 50% uh, percent Fibonacci retracement is right in the middle here. And I do expect us at some point to, to go back to this level. This is not a sustainable level, but because the world economy is just 
as stands still at the moment, especially the United States economy and those economies that are, or the countries that are hit uh, so severely by the coronavirus still, we are not going to see production uh, at the same levels that we saw prior to the coronavirus anytime soon. This is going to last probably for years to come. So uh, I do expect prices to decline. If, if I were to guess, I would say that prices are more likely to decline than to uh, have uh, um, uh, to increase significantly. And that's just due to the fundamentals of the world economy at the moment. There just isn't the same production, the same demand uh, in the world economy as prior to the coronavirus. And therefore, it doesn't really make any sense for prices to technically explode to the upside. It is more likely that we will trade sideways for some time and then we'll have a decrease before we see prices increasing again. And if I were to guess, we will decrease down to uh, this level here, this um, 50 uh, percent Fibonacci retracement, which is around $24, $25, thereabout. And that is, of course, not going to happen right now. This is something that probably will happen in a few months' time. But at the moment, I'm still not a buyer. I'm not a seller in this market. It's way too risky uh, to uh, make any significant trade in this market at the moment because we are trading in mid-range. We are between the 250, uh, 200 and the 50 moving average. And as long as that is the case, I will just wait, see what technically happens. If we get close to the 200, I will be a seller. If we get close to the to the 50 moving average, I will be a buyer. So if we look at the technical indicators, they uh, do look quite uh, bearish. We see that stochastic is about to get across the signal line, indicating that we'll go uh, further down. Uh, the RSI is uh, is trending negatively, and uh, MACD is also trending negatively. All three indicators indicate that we will see lower prices in the near future, uh, probably Monday on, on Tuesday. And uh, the only question is, will we go as far down as to the 50 moving average? If that happens, I will be definitely be a buyer in this market. So I hope you find this analysis uh, helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hitting the like button and the bell button. Thank you very much and good luck.